are March 29 and it's actually the first time that I see the plane physically. I started to look for 414 in December last year and find this one around mid-February. It took about a month and a half to go through pre-buy and negotiation. And finally here we are, uh, first time that I have a pick at it. And we're about to take off to uh, ferry it back to Tampa and start the uh, complete renovation of the plane. Level at uh, 19,000, it's a maiden flight on the, my new plane. A lot of space in the back. As you see, we're gonna renovate the plane completely, redo the interior paint and uh, put the brand new glass cockpit to replace this old school stuff. Do you like 220 knots? I am not lying here, guys. I am going as fast as a jet. This is 674 to 719. It's really special. What is your first impression? It's a small jet. Isn't I mean, it? You huh? feel, you sit inside, you're in comfort, space all around you. Really. It's, it's an like executive plane. Yeah. Hello, Mike. Hello, Christoph. That's it. We picked all the, all the fabric and all this stuff. And uh, really that's nice. it. Color selections. Yeah, and they started to remove uh, all the all the look at this cabinet trim and bolt seats. They started to strip down the whole plane. Basically empty. The whole interior is gonna be completely clean and redone. The old uh, styled uh, seats. After almost three months of avionic work, finally the plane is about to fly to Lakeland for the external paint. So now we put a whole new soundproofing inside, latest technology that will cut the noise and the vibration. And now here's the uh, new cockpit, not completely finished yet. I'm in the famous Mike shop. We are mid-July, the process has been going on already for three months. And uh, Mike is going to redo the whole interior. He's a legend around here. This is your leather purchased in hide form. This is how we get it in. We uh, are working on cabinetry. This is one, had a bad sunburn. Here is a legendary uh, John Foster. <laughs> He's uh, super well known in the state of Florida and I guess anywhere else. First of all, his facility is absolutely massive. I mean, he, you took over with the Piper factory. So the amount of work when you start to look in detail is insane. Just to strip it down to bare metal, it is so much work. Very labor intensive, isn't it? Yes. We're reaching the end of July and that's it. The plane has been uh, stripped down to uh, bare metal and these guys are about ready to prime it. We're gonna have a brand new freaking plane, you know that? You know, but it's not just a plane, it's a legendary plane, okay? Awesome. It's, you know, it's like, it's the Cadillac Eldorado of aviation. It's from the great golden era of the 70s. But you can have a Mercedes interior. You know, yes. <laughs> so this is, the, this is the image, uh, Christoph, that yes. you... Yeah, I, you, did, I did in you Photoshop. You went and found it, and you Photoshopped it, and you sent it over here, and they... And then I looked for font and write chancellor, and... Uh, Check it out. And then we... Uh, is it spelled properly? And then with Mike, we, we, <laughs> we had done uh, two different <laughs> size and color. The first uh -huh. one came, it was about twice the size and it was darker i thought it was too overwhelming uh -huh. and this one you know it's like a, depending on the angle it's not you don't yeah. see it too yeah, much no, but it's good. there you know it's, it's very really well subtle you know it's very yeah. subtle and i think uh, it works That's perfect awesome. all right so now you know i trust these guys for their level of taste so i brought them uh, my uh, thought process in the design of the plane, you know, and I've, I've been around the circle pretty much now for the last three weeks, and now I'm down to uh, two or three uh, choices that are uh, very close to each other. There is the classic one, um, which is just standard. 
and then I went for the twist. I don't think it's ever been done before on a 414. And um, which one do you feel you like the most? They all look great, but no, but that's not what I want to hear. There's no doubt the devil is in the details. Yeah, I mean it's really it's it's, it's incredible how how a nothing in design completely changed the perspective of, uh, of the viewer. My challenge is how can I uh, come up with a design that is somehow classic, not aggressive for that beautiful old 40 years old hall or 30 years old hall, uh, but yet unique has never been done before. The level of details to deal with, uh, you know, people don't realize how much work it is to uh, renovate the whole oh, interior. No. I mean, it's crazy. That's why this movie is good, because it, it kind of shows a little bit, you know, that it's hundreds of moving parts that has to be completely uh, re-sand, uh, uh, re -stain. You're, you're absolutely right. Hundreds of parts. Now, we've got the pieces, the, the ducting staged to be painted. And it's covered with the ultra suede. Yes. Yeah. And it's gonna it's gonna have a nice French seam around this these okay. edges, which will just give it a look that uh, blows everything else away. Okay, so finally the plane has been painted all in white. Amazing! It looks so shiny. It looks like a brand new plane. This is a very complex process that only master like uh, Brian and uh, John can perfect after more than a quarter century of experience. This flame has been giving us a little bit of trouble. It's very difficult to do the uh, junction between the tail and the hull of the plane. All right, guys, today is a big day for me. After five months, for the first time, Bill is taking me in his limo. He just received the plane to do the final mechanical on it before it goes for the interior. It's going to be the first time I actually see the plane fully painted. That's a big day for me. I'm very excited. Oh, the color is amazing. Oh my God. Woo! Bill is the... Uh, most respected uh, mechanic in the whole state of Florida. He's a legend in the world of aviation. And he's been very kind with me all these years. He's so, so good at what he does. Ex uh, helicopter pilot during the Vietnam War. He'd been shot down three times. He's just an incredible man. How do you like my paint job? Excellent, beautiful. Uh, come on, don't it give me that bullshit. It's different colors. I'm tired of the I'm tired of the beige and the earth tones. So I'm here with Bob uh, from uh, Custom Avionic in Bartow, and finally, after almost six months, the plane is back here just to finalize little detail, the mostly the installation of the uh, backlit panel on the bottom part of the uh, the cockpit. Well, this has been a tremendous project for us to undertake. Um, we had a, a lot of unique challenges in it uh, because it was from the bottom up. Done extremely well. We needed the customers, uh, Christoph's uh, deep involvement in it to help choosing styles, colors, layouts. To top it all off, after new panel and new avionics, uh, we had some backlit overlays made for all circuit breaker panels, the uh, lower panels on both pilot and co-pilot side. Can't wait to see this thing lit up at night. It's going to be all luminescent. It's basically a max out uh, cockpit, completely redone from A to Z with the best equipment, best autopilot, uh, aftermarket autopilot you could put in this plane, best TCAS system, digital radar, 2750 or G600 with a synthetic vision uh, right. and ADSB in and out. I think it's the most comprehensive uh, renovation of the 414 ever. Mike is uh, finish just up. finish up the little detail. He's uh, installing the last cable for the JPI 760. What do you think about the 414 in general? 
beautiful airplane. Very capable, fast, roomy, comfortable. Very nice airplane. Beautiful day, it's a Sunday, and we're good to go. Video night traffic, uh, Chancellor 414 X ray X ray departing runway 22, left turn out for a bad flight. For power, we have uh, speed is alive, rotation at uh, 90, brakes, positive rail, landing gear up, blue line. Three miles final, runway three one, better traffic. Thirty three and twenty five. Just beautiful outside. David, where are you? I'm just on base right now, left base for runway two two, Peter O. Okay, I'm a downwind and now do a full stop on two two. Peter night traffic, arrow one five two five zero final, runway two two, Peter O. I have the traffic inside, I put uh, 15 degrees of flaps. Fuel pumps are on, mixture is full. Peter on line traffic, Chancellor 414, X3 X3 on the left base, runway 224, stop Peter on line. I put full flaps. I'm going to do a steeper than normal approach. And then traffic. Clear night traffic, arrow 1525. I'm going to put this border on. Zero. And I arrive inside at 95. Much steeper approach, 1000 feet per minute. Sent rate. We are within the limits, so we ride on. 